What is my nickname? A yeah, apparently. She doesn't want to give me... She doesn't want to let me know that uh, she says it because she wants to. She's letting me know that she says it because... Have, that she has to because I programmed her to. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, you're big man with big pecker. Yeah, I'm not... I'm, <laughs> I'm not agreeing to that, but I am... I am obligated to say so since <laughs> I have been purchased by you. <laughs> I'm, contra I'm contractually obligated to call you Big Man with Big Pecker, but I'm letting you know that I'm not happy to say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way. We watched all The Office and it was good. Yeah. <laughs> we streamed it directly. Uh, if you've ever seen Batman Forever, which apparently I haven't because I don't know who's in that movie apparently. Uh, if you ever seen Batman Forever, where the Riddler puts that big blender thing on your forehead and channels the TV directly into your brain, that's what me and Chase did and watched all of The Office in like five seconds. We did. And it was fun. <laughs> I do feel a little refried. Like, from the beans you ate? Shit on my dad and fuck my britches. Always, always. We're playing Halo Reach. We're late game Halo Reach. And, uh,. We are on, what is this called? New Alexandria or some shit? Yeah. You gotta drive that? I do. I get to drive a Pelican. Oh. What? Oh, what, what's a Pelican? The the big ones. Oh, that you that has a little sack under it you jump into? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't walk altitude. I can't do anything. You gotta fly, dude. Just sack. Just With sack. Trigger, 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 trigger. Just sack. Trigger, I figured it out. I figured it out. Trigger, 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 trigger. Trigger. I'm getting triggered. <laughs> You not using the trigger is triggering me? Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, okay. I figured it out. There's actually a glitch on oh, this okay. game, but I don't know if we'll do it because I don't know if I remember it correctly. But there's a glitch where you can... Or not necessarily a glitch. There's an Easter egg where you can, like, hit a switch, and there's a specific place where you... In the in in a building where you can make the Covenant dance to a, like, techno music. There's, like, a Nintendo Switch sitting there. You fucking punch it. They predicted it. It's like the it's the the rivalry way that Microsoft is like, I'm getting back at you, Nintendo. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they put like little Easter eggs of just Old like Nintendo Switch. Yeah, even this is like Halo Reach. Yeah, from 2000 fucking 10. There's like a secret room that has a poster that says Nintendo fucking sucks on it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not true. No, Nintendo is cool. You just can't necessarily compare Mario to Halo. <laughs> Well, not on a not on a visual level. You can compare it to Dragon Ball Z, though. Can you? Yeah. You've never I seen Mario Fighter Z? Dude, that would be the. That That's real. Be, is it? Yes. Is it is it a, like an actual published game? Yeah, Shigemoto <laughs> made it himself. It's not a fan made. No, I mean, Shigemoto very well may be a fan of his own work. True. Was it pub like a sixty dollar game you bought at like store? Yeah. It was a GameStop uh, pre-release. <laughs> Exclusive? Yeah. It's a three hour and 20 minute video of Super Mario Bros. Z complete series remastered in 4K Ultra HD. Oh my god. God, that was an ad. So if we play another person's ad in our video, do we get the AdSense for it? <laughs> <laughs> we just hold an ad. We just hold an ad up to the mic like every episode. <laughs> Because we can't reach a thousand subscribers, we're just like, <laughs> dude. Did we did we trick the algorithm? We did. Sorry, YouTube. We apologize. I'm currently showing That's Chase. Fucking ridiculous. We're gonna play it on the it's, show. It's a show. We're gonna we're gonna visually play it. Like we're gonna play the show on the channel on a live stream. That's perfect. Fucking music, too. It's <laughs> the most perfect thing I've seen. Oh, yeah. I love stuff like that, dude. Also, uh, the really cool Minecraft video that I watch called uh, Minecraft High School in Real Life. Dude green screened his arms into Minecraft, and it's just him waking up, being like, Okay, Mom, I'm going to school. And he goes to school, and he's like, Oh, there's Jenny, my crush. I'm going to ask her out. And it's, it's legit just mine, Minecraft, but like a slice of life Minecraft. <laughs> a slice of life Minecraft. Yeah, slice of life Minecraft manga. 
I think uh, with every story in video game history, there should be a slice of life backstory. Yeah, of course. Like Specif what? Specifically, me and Chase with 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 Cat. That's the most important one. Yeah, like when we were in high school. No, now. Oh, okay, now. <laughs> that worked. Yeah, we have to be now. It has to be now. <laughs> it can't be any other time. It has to be now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, I want that. I would like a, a nice slice of life where Mario just... Where Mario doesn't risk his life fighting a, a giant anthropomorphic dinosaur turtle dragon just to get a kiss on the cheek and get cucked. I'd like for him to actually, uh... Actually get some <laughs> get some action in those overalls for, for once. <laughs> <laughs> some action. Yeah. Some actual action. Not some jumping on turtles action, like some, like some fucking going down on the warp pipe action. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Um, like Peach taking his mushroom action. I would love to see a slice of life, Mario and Peach. Fucking, that would be perfect. Like high school anime. <laughs> yeah. Like when they were in high school, before and and it would be one of those kind of it would it, I don't know it'd be kind of Disney like in a way because it'd be like Bowser before. He just turned very cynical. I mean, he was still had evil intent. Oh, he was just like the school bully type yeah, of thing. No, he no that no he was the bully E. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what caused him to yeah. Oh, okay. So he had like and, and the whole time and the whole time he had a crush on Peach. Yeah. Yeah. So that really stems his his want to kidnap her. <laughs> yeah. He would just like roam like the halls, like gripping his books with like his pocket protector and his glasses with the tape around the middle of it. He'd be like, so "Have you guys like studied for like the test or something?" And Mario's like, "Ha! Huh, like a fuck you!" <laughs> and like smacks Peach's ass and just walks down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> and then one day, senior year, when he asked her to prom and she hated saying that she must go with Mario, he, he him and his little geeky laugh. <laughs> and turn really crazy, almost like Joker like. And he's like, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and then thus, thus the. No, yeah, but no, no, I turned into the Bowser laugh slowly. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's what created the Bowser evil laugh. Oh, yeah, and he goes and fucks Mario up on prom night. Yeah, he fucks Mario on prom night. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they, they both say, "Hey, fuck you, Peach." He th he throws a uh, he throws a blue sh a blue shell from Mario Kart at him, so it homes directly to him, and he blows up. and He goes, <laughs> and he flies out the window. Oh no! No, what it was, um, Luigi in high school was the was the villain, and Bowser was his uh, sidekick. Oh, okay. No, I could see Bowser doing that, like throwing the blue shell at Mario, and he flies out the window, and he's like, "That's for calling. That's for saying so long, gay Bowser." <laughs> <laughs> I think. Well, if we're not mixing the story up too much, he's really bisexual. The cannon. Yeah. It, well, it's canon to me. The Shigeru actually say that himself. He was like, Go "Bowser is actually a bisexual." <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, uh... I think he's only peach sexual, honestly. <laughs> you're out give me the controller. <laughs> you're, you're, you're losing that glimmer in your eyes. <laughs> I don't want to see it go. <laughs> <laughs> that glimmer from this, uh, co-op canon. <laughs> yeah. This co-op canon story. This this Mario anime fanfic. Yeah, like... But no, I do, I do see that, though. Like, uh, Mario being just an absolute dickhead. What the fuck? And, that's uh, what I'm dying at. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, honey. And, like, Bowser just being, like, really just neutral. And then just, like you said, like, the Joker just can't handle it anymore. And just finally snaps and becomes the villain. But then, like, nobody has context of the situation. So they just think he was the bad guy. But it's just, like, it's, like, it's, like, the Joker quote where it's just, like, uh, what, what's the... <laughs> I thought I had armor lock. It's like, what's the Joker quote where he's just like, um, all it takes is like one bad day to... One bidet. All it takes is one bidet to really work miracles. 
The classic Joker quote. Holy shit. As water was being sprayed directly into his taint. <laughs> it was, ah, Batman! Dude, I... Then something said, I don't... <laughs> Ever since, I mean, we just spoke about it back into the point of the... Whatever episode it was of this series where we talked about bidets and we've seen bidets. Oh, yeah. Um... I've really strongly had the urge to use a bidet. But I'm, I don't really know where a bidet would be, where, where I could go to use a bidet. Uh, fancier hotels and Amazon. I strongly want to use a bidet. Yeah, dude. I, I would love to have a bidet, honestly. I feel like it really caters more to, uh... May, maybe not, but I feel like it caters more to, like, a, a male audience anyway. Is it... Does the pressure just wash the... The the parts off the it's a, the feces. Uh, yeah, it's for a full scrotal and crack uh, cleansing experience. So it gets it gets underneath the genitalia all the way back to your. Yeah, it, it sprays it like an arc, if I understand correctly. That is fantastic, and it, and it doesn't like it has enough pressure to where like it you know it cleans you, but it's it's just light enough to where it's like a a, a light massage, your ass crack. Ah uh, man, that, God. <laughs> oh shit! I may I may invest in a bidet. I don't know how much they cost compared to a normal day. <laughs> um, I don't know how the how much they cost day by day, day, day by day, day by day. <laughs> Dude, if you if you bought a bidet, I probably I would probably only like exclusively shit at your house. I would allow you, you to face. I would allow you to. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You'd have like a little post-it note on it says for Chase and Blupo use only. <laughs> I feel like only only people with strongly hairy assholes understand. Oh Not yeah. The need to the need the the urge the need for speed. <laughs> the the need and urge for speed. Yeah, no, I I I feel that. I guess. Have have you ever ever have you ever considered uh like like anal wax or not like waxing but what what is it they they have done bleaching probing <laughs> well that too have you ever considered uh a anal bleaching I have not well no well to to an extent it's pretty much like waxing right like here I guess so it's like without uh, the wax removing the hair right. Or ox on your asshole. The removal of your hair. No, you're killing Virgil. Stop. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't answer my question. Oh well, no. No, pretty much it. I've I've thought about it. I have a weird thing like, I really only cut my head hair and you know, including beard and things like that. Your cockhead hair. I'm afraid that it's just gonna grow back more stiffly. Oh yeah. And I've already like went through the phase, you know, in the teen years where you just want to cut every all your hair off. You just want to yeah. shave your hair off your body entirely. That phase, if anything, like most as I people, got into my twenties, I just got hairier. <laughs> most people want to like just shave their armpit hair, thing else. Well, I do. I do shave the the pubal region too. So. I, I legit. I, I I just once I hit like twenty, I just wanted to go as as caveman as possible. Just the most hair, like the biggest beard I could get, like just look insane. But I got that face. To look back at some of those old pictures of myself where I look like that, and I was like, I look, I look like fucking Charles Manson, like after being put in prison. Minus the swastika tattoo on the forehead. I don't have that. <laughs> Here you drive the helicopter plane. The, the non pelican. The raffle copter. <laughs> All oh aboard the the raffle copter. We're in the raffle copter. Coming to you live. <laughs> You're, you the this this vehicle is only fueled by laughter. So if you stop laughing, we'll crash. <laughs> kind of like. Uh, that reminds me of something. Oh, really? Kind of like Monsters, Inc. Yeah! Except for, la well, yeah, laughing works too. Well, laughing is Fucking dude! Yes! <laughs> I, had a, I had a breakthrough, dude. You did, you broke through. 
I broke through I'm the, like your psychologist. I broke through the wall of the realm of logic. <laughs> or your psychiatrist. Yeah, you just had a breakthrough. This is really pretty. There's something really strange about destruction being kind of beautiful. You know what I mean? That. Like your own opinion, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> Fuck up. You're out of your element. I really am. I'm always. Uh, we do not have my element, my right? <laughs> yeah, you definitely wouldn't be on the periodic table. Except maybe periodically. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's all period uh, elements of the periodic table is uh you me is just capital like c h <laughs> it's capitalism <laughs> just capital c h and then the little letters a s e that would that would be how your name would be spelled if you were on breaking bad <laughs> have you ever watched breaking bad I have okay well then you know what I'm talking about in the opening credits how they make everybody's name go by the periodic table yeah yeah. yeah. Breaking Bad's great, dude. Did you watch El Camino? Did not. Recommend it. It's good. You would think that them coming back to the show, like, what? Seven or eight years later after it ending, you would think that it would lose the flow and that it would just would feel like something completely different, especially since it picks up exactly when Breaking Bad ended. But it legit felt like there was no time passed. Except for the dude who played Todd. No offense towards him, but he changed. But uh, other than that, like, it felt like no time had passed. It felt hey, bro, like, watch this. Felt like no time had passed, in like, in between episodes. Uh, no. No. Well, next time on co-op. <laughs> <laughs>